Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Christina with Free Freight Disney. Here on this channel, we like to talk all things Disney, from planning to packing to pens to books. So if you wanna come with me on that journey, feel free. I would love to have you. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. Um, and so for today, we have a pen tag, right? I've never done a pig tag, pen tag before, so this is my first one. So this pen tag was, uh, I was tagged by Kaylee. Um, Kaylee, I don't wanna say your last name, but I don't remember your channel name. Oh my goodness. I will link it <laughs> in the description box. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm gonna link it in the description box and I'll also put, a, put it somewhere on the screen. Um, but Kaylee, uh, she tagged me in the, the, the pin tag. So what we have is eight tags, okay, or eight pins to find. So the first one is best couple. And I try to, oh, I'm sorry, side note. Yes, I am wearing the same outfit um, because I chose, I had some time and I was like, hey, let me knock out a couple of things. So I'm sorry if you're looking at all of my videos in one day, you're like, oh my gosh, she never changes. That's not true. Um, it's just you caught me on one of those weeks that I need to film a lot. So, um, best couple, without a do, best couple. Ooh, it's pin board. Um, I love the dynamic between Miss Piggy and Kermit. Um, it reminds me of my husband. It reminds me of myself. The fact that I am always almost over the top in my demands, and yet for somehow, some way, my husband finds a way to give me what I want. Um, he loves her. She loves him. Uh, they fight, they argue, but they always make it back together. They're always, they're the it couple in my opinion, you know? Um, so best couple. Okay. The next one is best prints. And I, I tried to stay away from Beauty and the Beast. I really did, but I didn't have any other prints. Like I did, I had that prints from, uh, Sleeping Beauty, but really I got whole other qualms with him. He's like, well, and then I guess this guy keeping slaves. This is Adam from Beauty and the Beast. I, especially if you've been following my channel, you know that I do um, a, a book talk on Rebel Rose, which is the retelling of Beauty and the Beast. And Adam, I feel like he's, Belle is not giving him a fair shake. I feel like he has, his arc is, as a character, he's growing um, and you know, we really want to be there with him and I yeah and then of course I'm a little biased because Beauty and Beast is my jam okay next one sidekick where's my sidekick y'all again I tried to stay away best sidekick in my opinion is LeFou you see that look at LeFou now here's the thing about LeFou and Gaston's arm moves but if you can see this pin, LeFou is just barely hanging on to Gaston's arm, you know, singing and dancing and so forth. Yeah, I think LeFou is probably the best sidekick only because in the live, for a couple of reasons, he is there for his guy, right? Like he, he, he goes back for him. He, he supports him in a way that Gaston is definitely, you know, you guys have those couples, those best friends that are, um, what do they say? You have like the good looking girl and then you have the not so good looking girl. But LeFou, I think he makes Gaston shine. Like he really tries. And I think it'd just be cool to have somebody in your corner that is always there for you and sees nothing but the best in you. And even in with your negative qualities that you still have something positive to care for with that friend, I think is a, a very wonderful um friend to have a very good sidekick so for sidekick we're gonna go with a villain sidekick which is Gaston okay and then for attraction all right I have two I cheated but I have a reason so first uh, you probably see where I'm going with this Space Mountain I think was amazing Space Mountain was amazing amazing but I had to put space, I, not my best attraction, because I think, I still think I like Slinky Dog and um, uh, Toy Story Mania. But Space Mountain is also awesome. Uh, and that's the only one I had a pin for. However, I think when it comes down to it, Tron, when it opens, is going to 
by far beat everything. I haven't ridden Rise of the Gal Rise of the Resistance yet, right? Rise of the Resistance. I haven't ridden that one yet because can never get a daggone pass to get on it. But I think from what I have ridden, um, I just feel like just seeing it and seeing if y'all ever seen videos of the Tron rides out in uh, Japan, I think, um, or Tokyo Disney, right, right. If y'all have seen those rides, it looks amazing. So I think Tron is going to be wonderful. So I'm going to put that as best ride as my prediction. We'll see how that goes. Okay. best That was best attraction. All right. Best LE pin. This pin is a Disney auctions. No. Yeah. A Disney from the Ac Acme Archives. And this is pin number 213, I think, out of... It's either 300 or 500, but it doesn't say on here. But it's this one. Let me put it on my board. This pen. I've talked about this pen before. I would love to have this as a painting. Um, this pen, I think, is stunning. It's beautiful. It has everything. If I were, I think that's part of the reason why I love Beauty and the Beast so much is because of the background of Beauty and the Beast. I could. This is me. This is me. I could be sitting, reading in nature, looking at a castle. This is all in my heart. If I could redo, not that I want to, but if I could, this is me. I, I, I see myself sitting here doing just this, looking off in a distance, enjoying a story, enjoying the fresh air, the waterfall, the sounds. Um, and and it, what's, what makes it even more awesome is that it's almost like, so if you can see her book, I, I wish I had a better angle on that, but in her book is a picture of this castle. So she is doing what I'm doing. I'm looking at this pen thinking, oh wow, I wish that could be me. And she's looking at this book, looking at that castle, like, you know, like all things amazing. So best LE pen because of the art effect. Uh, it's just amazing. All right, best. Ooh, I think I did Prince and I was supposed to do Princess, but here we go. Guess what? It is not Belle because Belle, not really a princess. I mean, she is, but she isn't. And especially if you're following me with Rebel Rose, y'all know the whole story on that. Um, if you don't, go follow my other videos uh, on Rebel Rose. I read through it and I discuss it and talk about it and we got some issues with Belle. Okay, Moana. I chose Moana for this. I have got to get a better board. I made this myself and it's just, anywho. Um, I chose Moana. I think Moana is the best princess because she, homegirl fought for everything she had. She went against the grain. No, I mean, truly, she had everything she needed on that island, right? But she didn't have a love interest. She didn't. Um, she did it all herself, you know? And, and again, that's that new wave of princesses that Disney is doing. It's like, you don't need nobody else. Like what Elf, it started with Frozen, obviously, with, you know, not needing um, a romantic interest, even though Anna ended up with somebody, Elsa didn't, and it's just weird. But they, they, they pushed that. You have Moana there too. Um, she didn't need no man. She did the saving of the man, you know? She's the one who went through and said, I'm just a human, I'm just a girl, but I can do this. She believed in herself against all odds. Um, and kicked butt. And then even at the end with, and, and when I say kicked butt, she didn't even physically fight, right? Her courage truly came from her heart and her, her drive of not stopping, um, no matter what. So, and side note, I could never get out in the ocean on a little bitty boat trying to go find, that ain't gonna be me. So girl, when you go for it, Moana. Okay. Best movie. Okay, <laughs> not Beauty and the Beast. It's Brave Little Taylor. I love this movie. I just, I think it's quintessential Disney. Um, Brave Little Taylor, what does it say? It came out in 1938. So I wasn't even a, 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 an imagining then. <laughs> but I just, there's something about that story. And I, I really, I can't put my finger on it. Why? I just, it speaks to me. Um, 
I think it's the come up, right? Of the guy who didn't have anything and ended up getting everything. Granted, it was based on a lie, but he still he still worked his way through it and got the girl, you know? I just, and it's Mickey, come on. Um, best park. Not Magic Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. Here's why. My family, when we go to Animal Kingdom, everyone has a good time. Everyone has a good time from the littlest to the oldest, like the, the ant from just the animals, the attractions that are there prior to COVID, all of the singing and the dancing and the street shows. And it's to me, it's a smaller, I, I feel like it's a smaller park and I feel like I'm part of the party. Um, walking through, you know, it's just, my kid had such an amazing time dancing with the characters in Africa, dancing with the characters over in the kids section. I mean, she, it was amazing and wonderful. Um, the food, gosh, we ate at Tucker, Tusker house. We've eaten at, um, it's over there by, um, the, the mountain and I can't remember the name. Oh, we've eaten there too. Pandora, the ride, uh, both Pandora rides were amazing. Like the, the and the detail and the artwork and the parks themselves. We just love Animal Kingdom. Like we love Magic Kingdom. But if it, if it came down to it, and you're like, what park? I know it'd be a tough one for our family, but I would say definitely Animal Kingdom is a must. Is a must every time. Okay. Well, that's my pin tag. So. Thanks for sticking on and holding and hanging on for this long. I appreciate it. Love you guys. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. I will put the link, uh, I'll put the tags down below so you can kind of see if you want to tag yourself and or not tag yourself. If you want to do it yourself, feel free. Um, link me. Let me know how it went. As always, have a magically blessed day. Uh, oh, one more look at our contenders before we go, right? Here's everybody. All right, so again, have a magically blessed day. Know that I will be praying for you. Take care, guys. Bye.